In this video, I will teach you how to do PBR texturing in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by pressing X to delete the default cube. And then we can go into Texture Haven and download one of the textures. They're all free, and I think I will choose this one for the tutorial. And then make sure to download all of the maps. And I'll choose the 8K resolution. And then next we need to unzip the file. So uh, extract to this folder. And let's go back to Blender. And then we need to enable an add-on, which is the Node Wrangler, which automatically sets up all the nodes that we need for the uh, textures. And then let's press Shift A and add a plane. And then we can press S to scale, then press tab for edit mode and right click to subdivide. And we can add 100 cuts, which should be enough for the displacements. And then press tab to go back to object mode. And then we can drag the top right corner to open a new window. And we're going to go into the shader editor and add the textures. So add a new material then select the principal node, then press Control shift t and then select all of the maps from the extracted folder. And uh, open. And as you can see, it automatically sets up all of the nodes that we need. And then next, we can quickly set up the sun. So let's set the strength to 3. And as you can see, we have the texture, but because this is in Eevee, you're not going to see the displacement. So let's go into cycles, then use the GPU if you have one. And I'm going to increase the uh, number of samples to increase the quality of the render. And then down in the material settings, we can change it from bump only to displacement only. And then inside the displacement node, we can decrease the scale so that the displacement looks a bit more realistic. And that's how you set up PBR textures. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more.